What's the deal? It's the boy Dwayne McLean at Dwayne McLean TV. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. I appreciate everybody supporting the channel. Now, today's video is going to be about Pat Mahomes, and I do have Travis Kelsey breakdown coming, Patrick Mahomes breakdown coming, Taylor Swift's breakdown coming. We're also going to talk about the three Chiefs fans that passed. So all this coming week, Chiefs content, they just won the Super Bowl. People need to be exposed while the light is shining on them. But first, I got to talk about something that's dear to my heart. And this is about the reason why you black males need to stop making families with white people. 50% of black men do it. If it was just 10% of y'all brothers, I wouldn't care. Because that's what it used to be. 10% of black dudes would date white girls. Because there's some white girls out there that like black dudes. Cool. But it, look, go look at the numbers. 50% of black men, that number's too high, are dating out of their race and making white families. And we're not keeping the money with our people. And then we write, wash our race out. And I'm going to talk about that and show the pictures what I mean by that. That black man to the right of this picture married a white lady, had a bunch of mixed kids. Those boys date white girls. Their kids look white. Ain't no way I'm ever going to look at my grandkids and see some white kids. My mix, if my sons and my daughter want to have some, some, some white babies, I'm going to get my grandkids and start brainwashing them. Like, hey, let me pick the grandkids up and start telling them every day, go start back making your race black. Y'all going to date some black kids. They're going to listen to all black stuff. They're going to get all black culture. They're going to do all the stuff for our culture, man. And this is what I'm saying. You brothers just don't care. Oh, you black. Dwayne, what does it matter, Dwayne? What does it matter, Dwayne? It doesn't matter with the people. It matters because, look, you're going to wake up and your grandkids going to be blonde hair with blue eyes. No more big lips. No more big nose. No more coarse hair. No more jumping out the gym. You don't care about your race. We stop caring about this stuff. Race matters, man. To me, it does. It should matter to you, especially if you're black, man. This was a major league baseball player who could have married a black woman, had black kids. Now all his grandkids are white and they're going to go out and do white things. They're going to go out and put money in white pockets. They're not about to come to no black neighborhood. So his major league baseball player put money into a white neighborhood. When Janice, whatever his wife's name is, go out, she's going to go out with, 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 with Sarah and, and, and whatever the white people's names is and put money in their pockets, put money in their neighborhoods. But they, if he was marrying a black woman, they would at least came back to our neighborhoods and invested in us, our people. Their grandkids could have did something with that major league baseball money. But nah, he has a Super Bowl starting quarterback, great genes. Now, would his son went to the Super Bowl if he wasn't mixed with white? Heck no. The NFL does not like dark-skinned people. Only one black man won, won the Super Bowl. His name was Doug Williams. Russell Wilson mixed. Patrick Mahomes mixed. The NFL do not like big-nosed black men, only for the quarterback position. They know white people are all white people, and this is if you're white, you're watching this, I don't care if you get offended. You are, all, you are subconsciously racist, and you don't know it. You don't know it. You think, hey, I like black people. Everybody's racist. Every race is racist. Subconsciously. We st go out and look. Like, I went to a festival. Mexicans were Mexicans. Whites were whites. Blacks were blacks. I ain't see one interracial grouping. Go to your job. Next time you look at your job, Mexicans be with Mexicans, whites be with whites, blacks be with blacks. They might be a few people that hang out. Yeah, we can intermingle and talk and be respectful towards each other. But at the end of the day, most of the time we go home, we see nothing but our people. Except you brothers that want to date white women and make these white babies. Patrick Mahomes half black, half white. Look at this baby. If you see that baby right there, do you think that's a black person? No. That little girl better not never say the N-word. My daddy, no, little, little baby, you white. And this is what I mean, man. You brothers be out here with these white girls. Y'all kids will come out light skin, and then they going to date white people. There's a higher chance of them dating what their daddy date. A higher chance. I know people want to argue, well, Dwayne, my son might go out there to black. He ain't dating no black girl. Black men don't even like light skin dudes like that. Be for real. Be for real. And you guys out here, well, black women like thugs. Man, go, go undork yourself, man. I'm a dork. I'm a lame. I date nothing but black women. And black women are attracted to me. I date nothing but black girls. Have I dabbled in the white? Yeah, y'all. Yeah, I hit some snow bunnies. Yeah, and I do it again. Ain't nothing wrong with slaying a snow bunny as a brother. That's what we supposed to do. 
but you dudes are starting families and then making kids with no black kids. You ain't even got no black kids. I can see if some of your brothers have black kids. No, all y'all kids is white. All of it. Then those kids are going to grow up and make more white kids, and them white kids going to make white kids, and then your lineage of black blood is gone. And y'all don't care about that stuff because you know what you guys care about? Video games. Y'all don't care about legacy. Y'all don't care about future. Y'all don't care about dropping no money. Y'all don't care about nothing. You black men are worth nothing. 50% is too high. So why do Hindu men, Arabic men, stay with their race? Why majority of Asian men stay with their race? Major I'm talking about 90%, 95%. Why are they not wrong? Why when they look at their kids, you better not be no black person at home. Why are they not? Y'all know they tell their kids that. Y'all know they tell, I'm a black man. I have talked to, to the Arabic girls. They tell me, no, you're a no-no. I have been to places where if I talk to a female, they say, oh, well, my parents are going to disown me. Why can't we be like that as a people? I know it sounds evil. I know it sounds wrong. And black people, we are the nicest in the world. But we at least got to, if we're going to be nice about it, at least start telling our boys or doing something for our boys and start making our sons masculine and start making these weak boys so they can go to these white girls where it's comfortable over there, where white people just accept weakness. They do, yeah. They accept they man. Be, hey, hun, I, I built Legos all day. They, they cool with that. Black women ain't cool with that. It's, I understand, fellas. You guys are nerds. You guys are dorks. You're weirdos. You want to date white girls. I get it. I get it. But let's figure out a way. And our black women stop being so hard on these guys. Give these brothers a chance, man, because y'all are the problem, too. Y'all the reason why these dudes going out. And I put this picture in here because he got the upside down star as for the um, Baphomet. But we're going to talk about doing Patrick Mahomes breakdown. Right now, I'm still ranting. But black women, y'all got to stop being so hard, too, and give these brothers a chance, man, because y'all mean to them, and then they're going to go, to, I'll be honest with you, I personally think you guys don't even think black women are attractive. When a black man ever start his sentence off, I like black women, he lying. He lying. He lying. But all I'm saying is with this video, Patrick Mahomes drives home my argument that when you make these mixed babies, this is the outcome. And brothers, you look at your grandkids, you don't see none of your lineage. You don't see none of your features. Your features is gone. Man, I look just like my grandma. My grandma Betty Ruth got my, the nose I got went to my daddy, went to me. Y'all don't care about stuff like that. Y'all don't care about nothing. You dudes don't care about nothing. Oh, yeah, I'm going to play the game. I'm going to be happy. Yeah, I'm just happy. Y'all going to be happy. Y'all don't care about legacy. Y'all don't care about lineage. Y'all don't care about future. Y'all don't care what's going to happen beyond the grave. We're going to leave this earth, fellas. We got to leave something that means something. And my race means it, man. I'm really black. I don't say I'm Puerto Rican. I don't say I'm Jamaican. I don't say I'm Haitian. I don't say I'm, I'm, I'm African. I don't claim none of that. I am a black person from America who don't know his history. I take pride in that. I love being black. I love knowing I'm at the, at, at the, at the end of the race. I love knowing that nobody likes me. I love knowing I'm enemy number one. Everybody hates the black man. And I love knowing. I take pride in that. And I'm tired of people trying to not it, it have the same love for their race like I do. And they just want to go out and not keep it going. We got but So this is, a, this is how y'all doing it, man. We got to figure out the way to get the black man from being enemy number one. But y'all want to do it. Then just make some white kids. And now look. Everybody going to be white. I'm telling you, man, it's going to happen. Y'all look the numbers up. 50% of black men date out their race. And I think the number higher. Six, it's probably 60, 70. When I go to the mall down here, I go to the mall, all I see is brothers with girls with their hair pinned up with white kids and little high yellow babies. That's all I see. That's all I see. And you brothers don't care because, ooh, she got a big boot. And let me tell you another thing. If you're dating a white girl, make sure she has some cake. Make sure she has some yams. Y'all be dating white girls who got the flat back, the pity pack, the booty boot. What the heck is that, man? You, if if y'all ever see Dwayne McClain with a white girl, she's going to have some yams and she's going to be stacked. Thighs and hips and, and back. Dwayne McClain going to be playing out here if I had one. But you brothers out here, y'all just want to be happy. Y'all want to play your little game and come home. And y'all don't want to do, don't care about nothing. Get some mixed babies and don't even care. Your baby's looking all white. Then your grandkids, blonde hair, blue eyes. You don't care. You just, well, I'm happy, man. This is what I chose in my life. And that's what you want to say. Cool. Matter of fact, I'll be more cool with you guys if y'all just came out your mouth and said, I don't like black women. I like white girls. I don't care about my race. I don't care about none of that. And I don't care if my grandkids white. If you are a black man, you tell me that I got no issue with you. Soon as you come out your mouth, well, I care about my race, man. I care. I'm just one. You, you're lying, bro. Oh, I like black women. You're lying, man. You don't think black women are attractive. I would love for you guys. Just, just be real. I hate my, I, I do not like my race. 
I don't date black women. I don't think black women are attractive. I don't care if my grandkids is white, and I don't care if I wipe my race out, Dwayne. I'm going to live my life. Tell me that. We good. We good. You, as soon as you come to me with that bull, that BS, oh, Dwayne, I love my people. I just need a white girl because, you know what I'm saying? And then she ain't got no yams. And I said, let me see your white girl. No yams? You just like white girls, bro. I had a white girl, big lips, big booty. She could have been a black girl. Big lips, big booty. She like rap music. She could roll a blunt with one hand. Had a white girl like that. Great woman. I just couldn't set her down. Hell, I'm about to have me some mixed babies, bro. But you know, I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm pretty sure them mixed babies would have grew up and dated black kids because her mama date black men. It's not, it's not her daddy date white girls. It's her mama date black men. So if I had black mixed babies with that woman, them kids would have grew up and had some black kids. But that's all I'm really just saying on that, man. Call it what you want. Call me what you want. I love my race. I love being black. I am tired of saying, like I said, if you are a black man and you are, you just don't care about none of this, tell me that I'm cool. It's none of my business at the end of the day. But 60% of black men dating under race is too high. Brothers, and black, stop blaming black women. Brothers, go out there and undork yourself, okay? Stop being a dork. Go out and be a man. And you know you, you know you know black women are attractive. But I'd rather you brothers just tell me well, I don't think black girls are attractive. Because you thought they was attractive. Fellas, I am a geek. I can name every X-Man. I know about powers of X-Men you don't know about. I, I still watch Dragon Ball Z. I am myself, and I date black girls. Ne I never had the issue of being a geek, a nerd, and black girls like me. I don't know. Maybe I, I have, maybe, But say, tell me I still keep it hood because I'm me. But not keeping it hood. I want you guys to go, I got to be hood. Oh, man, I got to be hood the way. Well, I ain't hood, man. I ain't even want to put that thought on y'all here because as soon as you brother, well, I ain't hood. I'm a dork. <laughs> I'm going to go get a white girl. <laughs> no, I'm, I don't even want to put that in your head. I am not, nowhere near a thug, bro. Black women like me. I date black girls and I get them. So all that black women want the thug stuff is false, from, in my opinion, because I'm far from a thug and they know that. They know they with a, a dork. I, and I'm telling you, man, Batman, my favorite superhero. I let every woman know my favorite movie is Dark Knight with the Joker. I can name that. I can work, do that movie word for word. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. But I always date black women. So all you dudes out here, just tell, be real. Tell me, man. I, and, and notice in your heart, I don't care about my race. And I don't care about having black, uh, a black lineage. So that's all I got to say about this rant. Um, debate me in the comments. You black dudes out there, just tell me. What it, just, just be real. Um... That's all I got to say on this video. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm about to work on this breakdown. I'll be blessed. I'll be safe. I'm out.